Hello again. This is Mike Garcia. Uh, I'm here to make another video. As you can see, my my right rear tire is sort of low. Um, it didn't look that way in Denver. I'm in Pueblo right now. You can look it up on the Google Maps. It's about a hundred and about 110 miles south of Denver. That's where I'm at to do my job today. Originally, I was gonna do the video on this tire, but this tire right now doesn't look too low. Um, now that I noticed it, this tire looks about like that other one did a few minutes ago. As you can see, it's low. I think it's because the position of the truck, but I, with the way things have been going recently with my truck and and damage um, to the uh, reservoir for the coolant and to the oil, uh, I'm not sure I believe it. Um, as you can see, I might have a leak under there and uh, recently I've had my my airbag slashed those two airbags right there in the back I had those slashed before where I couldn't blow flour I blow flour for a living out of this blower but it won't work unless you have air in your airbags uh, I had them low a few days ago and uh, it was just the air had to build up then, but I did have them slashed this last summer. Um, let me switch this camera around. Hopefully, I don't know how to do it. Uh, I've been having problems with my uh, supervisor of recent. Um, yesterday, I was at a place in Denver called Tortillas, Mexico, and I had a bracket on my um, airline uh, b mysteriously break. When I got the uh, load there, uh, it worked just fine, and then I blew flour into their building. Me and my girlfriend wanted to take off, and... Uh, me and my girlfriend wanted to take off and mysteriously my my brakes locked up mechanic came out and he said that I had a broken bracket on my airline so he had a, a clamp it shut and I only had one pair of brakes on my um, my tandems yesterday evening uh, he's found out that I'm going to be working a second job um, because I he's reduced my loads here at WW and I needed a second job so that I can stop living with my mom. It's no fun living with my mom when I'm 55 years old. Uh, part of the reason is because he wouldn't give me work and he keeps threatening us. What I understand is he's bought a gun. He keeps threatening me. He keeps threatening and breaking my truck in the middle of the night. He's threatening my girlfriend. And in short, I don't like it. So if you don't see me pretty soon, his name is Kevin Ward. He works for WW Transport. You might want to get a hold of the authorities.